Welcome to Compassion Speaks, where we give a voice to the nonprofits in the community. I'm your host, Ezra Borrego, and today on our show we have Patrick Carlson with Walking Down Ranch in the Veterans Village, and also Johnny Walker with the White Mountain Autism Foundation. Now it's called the White Mountain uh, Foundation for Special Needs Individuals, correct? Yes. I got it. Yeah, they're, they're changing the name. We voted on it last night at our last uh, at the board meeting. So and to be more inclusive of of uh, not just autistic individuals, but of all special needs individuals now. Yeah, that's so, awesome. Because that's basically been our main, uh, you know, for the last several years, uh, we've taken care of a lot of just special needs in general. Yeah, yeah, you have. And it's been wonderful. I've been a little bit a part of that for the last few years, and it's, it's an awesome program, awesome foundation. Now, Patrick, mm -hmm. you're here. You know, you two have two different uh, things going on, but uh, we're going to talk about some of the things that's happening in May. But first, I'm going to, uh, I had Maggie Heath, who's the guru of all the right. Veterans Village, and she got you on board. And, and uh, again, how did you get on board real quick to the audience as a veteran to help out with the Walking Down Ranch, the Veterans Village? I actually uh, came into town, was looking for a place to live, mm -hmm. and was turned down to the village by an individual who said that uh, to go talk to Maggie Heath. And I went into Maggie and talked to her, told her my situation, that I was looking for a house. I have a disabled son. So we were kind of in a pinch at the moment, and Maggie said, well, we can put you up here, help you out, and get you on your feet, and when the time comes that you get a place, then, then we can get you on your way. During that period of time, I became involved in helping out, and the way I helped out, because I did have a, a marketing background, was to actually take over the chairmanship of the fundraising committee. Mm -hmm. And I got involved with that and stayed involved with it. And when the time came, which was just a couple of weeks ago, to move and to go actually get, get into our own place, uh, I joined the board of directors as executive vice president. And I continued to help out and I'm going to stay with them and uh, I'm in for the long haul. That's wonderful. Now you have, now you are, Maggie right now in the group, whoever's on the board, you guys are, are leasing the place, correct right now? Is that how it is? We are leasing the place and we are in the process of raising money to buy the Walking Down Ranch. Right. We have to raise $575,000 within a 36 month period. Okay. And it's going to take a lot of work to get it done. And so how, how is your goal coming along right now? Uh, it's coming along fairly well. Uh, I believe the last figures I saw we've raised, I believe, I th I'm not 100% sure, but I believe it was close to $100,000. Wow. But it's, so that just goes to tell you, we've still got a large amount of money that we have to raise. Now you have brochures uh, that you've been putting out around the community and right. those little holders. Right. And how can somebody, if they're interested in getting those brochures, how can they contact you guys to get some of those on their counters at their businesses, wherever they're located to help out with this? How can they? Well, there's a couple of different ways. You could go, the main way would be to actually come into the ranch. We always try to invite people, come in and see what we're doing. Okay. You know, we always try to get people to take a tour so they can see what we're doing and we can give them all the information they could possibly need on, on doing donations to us. Uh, there's tax credits, there's, there's many different ways that they can help to raise the money. Okay, and then you have some activities that's coming up mm -hmm. this month. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about those. Well, the, one, the main one we have coming up here is on the 18th, okay? We're going to be doing a barbecue that's being uh, hosted by Moose Henry's restaurant. It's gonna be a pig roast and that's going to be going on from five to seven o'clock at night. And where's that at? That's gonna be at the ranch. Okay. At the ranch. And then we're also, during the daylight, daytime there, we're going to have a uh, uh, yard sale going on. That's okay. going to actually go on, and a bake sale. And that's gonna go on, I believe, from eight in the morning till three in the afternoon. Wonderful. Now, those that don't know where the ranch is, what, do you have an address? You, yeah, or it's 1638. It's uh, White Mountain Boulevard, West White Mountain Boulevard, and it's right next to the Circle K. In downtown Lakeside. In downtown Lakeside, okay. right. Well, that's a wonderful um, 
things that they do there. They have a uh, thrift store. They have veterans that help. They have volunteers that help. Mm -hmm. Uh, I know that even Home Depot came up and did a lot of work oh, there. Oh, they sure did. And, they sure did. And I know there's going to be a lot more things going on there because it's, I know you have cabins in the back still. Need some yeah, renovation. we have 18 cabins, 18 right. cabins. So, uh, and just another thing to mention too, all of our cabins are sponsored, okay? We have four more available right now, but a person can come in, an organization can come in and get sponsorship for $3,000 for the year. Wow, that's that's incredible. That's a good way to give back to our veterans. Oh, absolutely, you know? absolutely. That's in, that's. I think it's really neat. I love Maggie. She's helped us mm -hmm. a lot with the uh, Hospice Foundation, mm -hmm. what we do for the kids in the community, and and I thought I I need to give back to her. So she, you got a great woman you work for, and and she does. She's work. a hard worker. She is. And, and she's dealing with some health problems too. That's what keeps her going. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Well, thanks for, for uh, spending some time here. And, and I'm gonna go to you, Johnny, a little bit about what's happening this month and maybe some other events that's happening. Okay, so, going so, on with so what we're going on is uh, the Autism Foundation um, purchased four uh, derby car kits, downhill derby car kits. And we got together with the, uh, uh, with the fire department, police department, um, now Apache Electric, and then um, the Autism Foundation is building their own car, which will be an aut autism, you know, it'll have the, the puzzle pieces that'll look, it'll, it's, it'll be specific to that, and the fire and Nav Apache are all building their own cars, so they'll, they'll look like a service truck and a police car and a fire truck and, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So um, th the guys will be doing the derbies mm -hmm. on June 8th, and in between the, the downhill derby, there's gonna be a, a, a sanctioned event um, that is is they're going to be some pretty pretty fast racers there for their their uh, believe the purse is five grand for wow. them for us it's just a participation for the guys to get a chance to uh, have some fun with the rest of the community in a in a derby event um, and uh, like I said that'll be June eighth we're we're uh, it, it's going to be fun come down and see us the starting line is Hatch by Hatch Motors there in Sholo. And then the finish line is down by CVS. Okay. So we're going to be doing that. And then uh, coming up on the 17th, that's June 8th, uh, coming up on the 17th of this month is what is the uh, foundation's annual fishing derby at Lazy Oaks Resort. And that's where all the programs that deal with special needs um, are going to get together and we go, fi the, we go fishing. And then we go to the house restaurant here in Sholo um, and have a, you know, go play games and we hang out and, Eat, eat a good lunch and, and uh, socialize and just have a good time. And the house has been helping with this, uh, this luncheon is, thing. This for is their third year. Third year. Yeah. And how long has the Derby been going on? The Derby, um, this is a, this will be our, uh, I believe it's the third year, third year. Um, that, that they've allowed us to do this. So the last two years we've had, the, the cars were uh, imported from, from uh, a, a person that donated them for, for, to, for use down in the valley. But this year we decided we wanted to build our own cars and, and uh, hopefully this event grows and grows. So, so and, and that's, I think that's gonna be a lot of fun for those kids to get in those cars. So last year they loved it. That was, they're still talking about it from last year. That's so cool. The fishing, I was been there a couple times with the fishing. Uh, and when they catch a fish, they just go crazy. They just have a, a oh, good yeah. time. Oh yeah, no, yeah, we have we got good, good pictures film of those that we're allowed to film and, and uh, but yeah, they have a really good time at the fishing event, and uh, uh, the Young Marines helps out helps out with that. And the Lazy Oaks Resort is is doing a great job with letting us uh, have a very nice facility to um, to for the individuals to come to a good safe environment. And uh, so that's pretty neat. So those two events that uh, are happening soon. What's some of the other events that take well, place? Well, we have real some, quick. This. Uh, we got we have events coming up. We have a, uh, a disc golf tournament. Mm -hmm. Uh, that the foundation puts on every year and um, that's coming up in june and then we have uh pickleball tournaments that are coming up um, not quite sure of all the dates on those but uh, my main two events are the uh, uh the fishing derby and the and the and the uh, derby down the deuce but we have lots of fun stuff coming up um for people to participate in you know it's all it's all about raising money for for to to help out the individuals in the White Mountain to have fun. One of the things we're sponsoring with the money that uh, from these events is in October we're having a Halloween dance at the Elks Club, which is going to be a blast. So be 
you know, it'll be a pretty much an all day afternoon into the evening event and there'll be food, games, uh, a live band, um, and uh, all the individuals that are, uh, that are special needs uh, are welcome to come. And if you uh, um, want to know more on the details on that, you can contact myself at 928-242-6585 and I can give you more details um, when we have so I can talk more. Okay. <laughs> so I, I think we're shooting for the pickleball tournament on the 21st and 22nd of June. Right. That's what we, okay. we're shooting on. Yeah. So, and last year it was on TV. So these, let's see if these guys can make it back again. We got to coordinate with these guys yeah. to get us back on TV again. That was a lot of fun. So I'm going to come back to you just a little mm -hmm. bit. Um, you're a veteran, you, and what what military service did you serve in? Uh, I was in uh, long range recon for the uh, United States Army, and a Vietnam veteran. Wow, I'm really grateful for what you did. Well, you know, the you. Vietnam veterans didn't get welcome home too too well, and. Uh, I think uh, what Maggie's doing, she has a special love for the Vietnam vets because, right. because of that. Right. Right. And, and, and we have a few Vietnam vets in there. Besides. Yes, we do. We, we have quite a few. Yeah. yeah. Quite a few Vietnam veterans. And uh, they, they need to have that support. They do. They really do. They do. And it's hard to talk about some of the things they went through, but when you sit down intimately with them and just be one-on-one -on -one with them, mm -hmm. they'll share some things with you because they feel that trust. and. Um, they feel uh, that they can do that with a person that cares. Right. And so right. it's a great program that both of you guys are doing and I, I get to help out a little bit with both and it's, it's a wonderful thing in the community that is going on with the foundation for the special needs kids and also the, uh, what's going on with the Veterans Village with the veterans. Mm -hmm. um, I like to get the word out as much as we can because there's a lot of veterans that don't even know that that's going on. Uh, it's amazing it that is. we found out over a period of time uh, how many veterans don't know about it. Yeah. And there's a lot of veterans that need help, you that are on do. the streets, that are not yeah. uh, doing well, that are homeless. That Restoring dignity to these men that have lost some of that is very important. It is. They just need that love and right. knowing that they are cared for and appreciated. Right. right. And uh, there's, that's a good place to get that, you is bet. at the Veterans Village. There's a brotherhood and a sisterhood there. Yeah. Right. They have some meetings there to go on also to help out with some of the things that are going on in maybe their mental stresses and stuff mm -hmm. like that that they have in their front room. Uh, they have great events uh, with uh, Veterans Day and... and uh, oh yeah, we, we're involved in, in many, many different locations we we help other organizations and support them uh, and it's 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 a big job it is a big job well i want to thank both of you for coming today mm -hmm. and uh you guys keep up the good work and maybe we'll have you guys on again i uh, love shortly to. love can, to. can i get one more plug in here <laughs> hey for the uh for the, the disc golf tournament which is also on june 8th we're looking for uh people to sponsor an individual with special needs to participate. Um, it's a fifty. It's fifty dollars. So you can get a hold of us, and uh, you can sponsor an individual to participate in the Derby. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with our next guest, Navajo County Economic Development Director Paul Watts. Welcome back to Compassion Speaks. Joining us now is Paul Watson from Navajo County. Welcome, Paul. Hey, thank you. It's good to have you. I'm glad so to be here. So we're going to talk about some things that you're concerned about with our community, not just Sholo Lakeside, but it's our vast community here in Navajo and Apache County. Right. And what's some of those things that you're concerned about that we're going to address today? You know, I think it's uh, probably no secret at this point that um, we have a significant coal-related industry in this area, right? We have uh, Choya Power Plant in Joe City, which is Navajo County. We have Springerville Generating Station in Springerville, and we have Coronado Generating Station in St. John's, all of which are coal-fired power plants. Um, that industry as a whole is taking its hit. Uh, originally, it was related to uh, environmental concerns, mm -hmm. but to be honest, the the issue now is more economic than it is environmental, meaning uh, you can produce uh, power using uh, natural gas mm -hmm. at significant less cost than 
uh, coal and that power is also a cleaner burning power and then we all know we're having a lot of uh, influence with uh, renewable resources right we've got windmill uh, wind generated farms we have solar powered farms all of which are are coming on uh, to the equation so my concern is we have significant employment related to coal in this area that is already starting to see uh, cutbacks and will continue to do so over the next five to ten years and so then what do we do right what do we do to try and combat uh, that loss of, of that employment? It's looking ahead. I mean, I, I remember when the paper mill went down and how many jobs right. were impacted. A lot of my friends, they had to move or go find something else that they've been doing for 30, 30 years plus. Right. So Generations. Yeah. And the same with the coal industry. It's, yeah. some, it's generations. It's yeah. fathers and sons that come into the business. Right. So that's, that's why is what you're doing, Paul, to, to look for a substitute or a plan B or something to take place. So what are some of those things that you're thinking about that might, might help yeah, in the situation? So if I could, mm -hmm. just real briefly, we, uh, we started with uh, a study last summer. Mm -hmm. We uh, had a, a consultant come in and say, take a look, do an assessment of what the coal industry, what that impact is economically to the region. And then let's talk about what we possibly can do to try and uh, supplement that industry as it continues to decline, right? Right. So the study um, came back and gave us the f facts and figures on the impact of the coal industry. But uh, the part I want to talk about today is it also came back and talked about what are the, some of the things that we can do uh, to try and uh, supplement uh, those job losses, mm -hmm. right? Right. So uh, that's where we're at. And uh, one of the things that came out of the study is that we need to foster an environment that is supportive of new entrepreneurs, people who want to start, build their own business. If we can help them uh, build a support system for that, uh, that is a great way for individuals to sus sustain themselves going forward and their families. Um, so we contracted with a company out of Flagstaff called NACET, and the acronym has a long meaning, <laughs> but, um, but NACET does a program called Moonshot, and that's what I want to talk about. Okay. Uh, Moonshot um, started with, uh, we had workshops in January and February, and the workshops were similar to um, Shark Tank in that these were helping people uh, brand themselves. So it's interesting when you look at um, private investment or angel investors or any of those kinds of things, a lot of times as much as they want to know about your service or product, mm -hmm. they want to know about you. Right. Who are you? What's, what's behind you? Yeah because that's gonna be a big factor on how successful you're gonna be, right? right? Yeah, makes sense. So we, uh, we did those workshops and we actually had um, Scott and Kirsten Hathcock. Kirsten was a contestant on the actual Shark Tank show. Really? Yeah. She's from up here? She is in Flagstaff. Kirsten, he's a boy or a girl? Kirsten is a girl. Girl, okay. And uh, she, uh, she went on to Shark Tank presented a, a concept of furniture. And it started with, she's a mom, she has a couple kids, <laughs> she has toys scattered everywhere, right? <laughs> and she's like, what do I do with this stuff? And she started looking at toy boxes, but the toy boxes were more kid related. They weren't really m modern type furniture. Right. That's her idea. Mm -hmm. She said, I'm coming up with, uh, furniture and it started with toy boxes um, that uh, looks nice can be in the living room and you can just throw this stuff in it when you're done so anyway she went on shark tank she was actually selected um, by w two of the sharks and uh, partnered with one anyway her long story is she actually threw all that 
found an angel investor who said, I want to invest in you. I believe in you. And that business is taking off. Wow. So she came and talked about her experience. Okay. But she also is involved in now helping others to get that same kind of start. Wow. And That's she will be at these workshops that we're going to talk about. Okay. So this Pioneer Pitch event, let's talk about this Pioneer Pitch event. This is what you're talking about with Kirsten, correct? Right. Okay. So what that's uh thursday may 30th of this of uh this year at 6 p.m to 8 p.m so tell me a little bit about what's going to happen at that yeah so there there will be an open reception on thursday um, and that's just to let these different individuals whether they're people who are there as mentors or whether they're individuals who are there to actually pitch new ideas just to come together and socialize. Okay. So that's a that's a social event on Thursday night. Okay. Friday during the day, they will actually have workshops and let's say I'm trying to develop a new uh, golf club. I'm into golf, so <laughs> closest thing to my mind. Um, <laughs> okay. And I have this idea, and so now I want to figure out how do I how do I take this idea and turn it into an actual business, right? Um, so you will be able to come to these workshops, and they'll first listen to you. What's your idea? What is it you want to try and accomplish? And then they'll give you suggestions and help on if you're going to go to uh, investor. How would you present this idea to an investor? Um, if you're going to uh, do some marketing, how would you do some marketing? Mm -hmm. And at the culmination of the workshop, they're actually going to give you an opportunity to pitch your idea in front of um, uh, mentors who are going to help you. And they're going to say, you know, you did this good, but this you could probably tweak a little bit. And maybe don't talk about your grandma so much. <laughs> maybe something, you know, whatever. Right. Um, but on Saturday, they will actually uh, do the pitch event, mm -hmm. and we're actually going to have prizes. Um, there will be some cash prizes. There will be prizes towards some ongoing workshops in the future to help you and some other things. That, uh, and all of this is free. It really is just, again, us trying to find a way to help foster the entrepreneurial spirit in this area, which it's there, right? It just sometimes needs some help on right, how right, to get started. Right. And how to get some more uh, work up here for people to go and come work for this company. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So you get this guy and he, he has his idea and all of a sudden his idea becomes a business and his business becomes successful. Now he's got 10, 20 employees. Mm -hmm. Boom. That's exactly what we're hoping to accomplish. That's, that's incredible. I'm interested in that. Good. I would love Good. to be there. I want to be, I want to be a part of this as in presenting something, an idea that I've been working on for a while. So you have another thing here, business financial, financial, uh, finances or financials 101, uh, finances and how to present with confidence. So is this, this yeah, is that's kind of a precursor to the pitch of it. This right? is earlier. So this is coming up soon. Yeah, this, and I don't know when this is even going to air, but this is coming up this Friday at NPC, Northland yeah. Pioneer College mm -hmm. in Sholo, yeah. and Saturday at St. John's City Hall in St. John's. Okay. Right. And yeah, and uh, uh, we will um, uh, put information out there about uh, those uh, workshops as well, and uh, love to have, the, like I say, it's free, lunch is provided. It's an opportunity to just come. Even if you don't get a lot of information out of the workshop, mm -hmm. here's what I've seen so far. The workshops we've done, you have somebody there, for example, we had one, in, the one we did in St. John's, we had somebody there who, young gentleman, wanted to get started in his own landscaping business, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, he's already doing a little bit of that, mm -hmm. but wanted to take it to the next level. We had somebody else there who um, was looking at pitching uh, a different business idea, but they happened to have various uh, landscaping type equipment. And they said, hey, if you want to get started, we'll help you with the tools, the equipment wow. you need. So there's this fostering of, of mentors uh, between themselves, right? Wow. That's what we want to do. That's powerful. 
That is neat. So you have these things going on, and so this is May 10th. So if somebody wants to get these flyers, what's the best place to get these flyers if real soon? Because this, especially this one on the 10th. Yeah, the one that's this Friday and Saturday. Um, yeah, the the flyers are going to be available um, online. Okay. Uh, if you go to any of the chamber websites. Okay. They have been promoting this as well. Uh, so you can go to Sholo Chamber, Pine Top Lakeside Chamber, I believe, uh, Snowflake Taylor Chamber, and you can find this information there as well. Okay, so this just isn't just for people in the Navajo and Apache County. Let's say they live just outside of the Navajo and Apache County. Can they come to this, these events Absolutely. and help out yeah. with ideas? Right. That's wonderful. Yeah. That's thinking outside the box. <laughs> we hope we hope we're we're helping that's yeah. for sure well that's wonderful i it's great been having you here uh paul i've haven't seen you for a while but it's good to see you again good to see you and this sounds like a wonderful project you're working on i hope so i hope it's very successful you're thinking ahead you're thinking at the what what's going to happen the impact that when if this does happen let's do something about it and this is something that you're doing that's going to possibly take care of some of those problems that we may have with, with jo uh, job loss. Right. Thank you for joining us today and tune in next month for Compassion Speaks.